Yeah, okay, mate. Uh, so Adam here, yeah, yearly stop hunt, very well spotted. Uh, it is um, attempting to have a yearly stop hunt. I mean, we're just there right now. We're sitting on the level. Uh, so let's kind of zoom out here and have a little look at it. Um, yeah, you can see that. I mean, it looks beautiful. It looks like this is going to kind of base uh, before breaking up. Uh, I do like it. I think it looks fantastic. Um, looks a, This part here looks a little bit like this base here. You know, you get the three base, you get the, the higher low, and you get the, the well, here it was an equal low, kind of, and then you get the lower low, the stop hunt before the move up, and here it's where you get these two stop on this one and then you get that big move up so um it looks to be something similar about to happen uh i definitely uh, would be paying attention to this and uh it probably is good to pay attention i like last week's candle that little doji candle very similar to the doji candle here uh similar to the doji candle here although we haven't moved up yet from it there is a slight bullish divergence forming uh, at this point price going lower and the RSI is going higher at this point It doesn't mean that the low is exactly in just yet, but there is that bullish divergence forming so with that said uh, Let's look at the USD chart now We are into this these u-shaped patterns can cause large moves to the upside. Okay, not identical here uh, this is theta on the left hand side. Uh, it's hard to fit it all into the one chart But just as you come in here this compression into the white 100 this compression into the white 100 and uh, Adam cosmos is trying to break out right now right now this also uh, You can see the it closed the weekly above the white 100 and from then it ran to the upside um, There is other coins again, not quite the same but similar uh, this one is above the white 100. This is VET, v, v chain, but you get this U-shaped pattern and it can blow through the top of it. So this is forming the U-shaped pattern right now. So uh, technically, you know, we are still bullish and especially we're about to break the red 200 and the white 100 moving average. Of course, it's just sitting on the red right now, but any more upside at all, and we will be breaking this and likely continue to the upside. So if we flip to a nine week chart, uh, we, we took liquidity already below and now we have flipped green again on a nine week There's a new nine week candle in five days time and uh, you know technically so far This is bullish and we are creating higher lows the entire way up while remaining bullish and, and getting that uh, the bullish push the uh, Perfectly this this is beautiful here um, You could draw this a few ways, but uh, for now I'll just draw that there um, this triangle pattern does look like it wants to break right it does look like we are getting into there and it looks like it wants to break um what i like about it is this is a bullish engulfing candle after kind of stop hunting the lows of all here all of these candles i'm not saying this this pivot got taken but all of the rest of it got taken um and sometimes that's all all it needs it just sometimes you don't get the stop hunt but this is a bullish engulfing candle coming off the lows after stop hunting all of these candles bullish engulfing then we took liquidity in the big green candle we pushed up and now this is looking strong it is green there is a chance these can keep going once they flip green there's a month left a full month left there's a very good chance this could con continue and uh and keep pushing higher so um uh let's I'll, I'll go back to that in a minute uh but the two week just because we had a new two week yesterday yeah ver nice move yesterday i mean it's a buy right now with a stop below the two week low uh in theory this should keep running uh it should hold but the the, the stop probably is it i was gonna guess it i was gonna guess six percent but uh seven percent roughly to the open uh so you know price needs to hold above the open price here and uh that's a seven percent um, I just want to we, we looked at the weekly now the three-day this is uh, what I want to look at here this is uh, in a three-day apex now it's a strange squashed tight compressed three-day apex uh, just because of the structure of the chart but you know in here this is still considered bullish and we are attempting to break out now um, what would be nice if, is if this three-day candle could dip and take some sort of liquidity in this large green candle if it does that that's a buy right that dip this is a large green candle if somehow this could flush quickly down into here uh you know for me that's a buy to then go higher and break out of this pattern 
Um, so, you know, that's for me, that'd be the ideal situation at the moment. Uh, it's tough to break, sorry, it's tough to buy after uh, a breakup like this. You know, it, it broke up engulfing the previous candle here. Uh, you would not expect price to break down below uh, this this resistance support level now. So resistance now becomes support. See here, you get a big green candle up and then you can get the dip back down. Ideally, if we could get something like that, that would be fantastic. I'm not sure if you can get it. Um, you know, I don't think it'll drop down below the yellow line. I, I would say, you know, in this ballpark sort of area there, uh, above that 1038 level and, and uh, dips down into there look good to me. A little bit like here. See this dip down and then you get the buy uh, into the into the middle point of the candle, roughly 38% to 50% retrace. And then you get a move higher. A 38 to 50% retrace is a strong retrace. Uh, in strong markets, that's what you want. Well, it's what you want to see, but obviously you can get deeper retraces. I mean, there's a beautiful deeper retrace right here, right down to the very lows. Sometimes you do get the deeper retrace, and then it continues. Uh, but here, you know, it's, that's a, considered a strong retrace. If you get, if you see a strong retrace like that, that actually stop on it here as well, which is uh, fantastic. Uh, you get the strong retrace plus a stop hunt. Oh my God, beautiful! And then you get on board that. Um, so you don't know. I, I don't know if we can get that dip down here, but because this candle is so large, like large candle, you can see we get some fill. Large candle, we got some fill. Large candle, we got some fill. Um, market is strong right now, so it's it's tough to say if we are going to get that fill. But if we get that fill, uh, I like it for a buy for a push higher.